Sorry, that wasn't very smooth of me as I came to get in front of the camera. I bumped into it. Welcome back. Another online lesson. This one is 7.3. We're going to solve equations by adding. And I've talked a little bit about um, inverses in class and inverse operations. And let's get down those definitions. So take a minute to make sure these are in your notes, and then we'll discuss it. Okay. So to summarize, inverse operations, they reverse the effect of another operation. So here I have a number like 5. 5 plus 1. If I add 1 to 5, I get 6. The inverse would be to minus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Minus 1, we're right back to 5. Addition and subtraction are inverses, meaning they undo each other. And what if I had one for multiplication down here? What if I have 6 divided by 2? Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. If I times it by 2, we're going to get right back to 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 divided by 2. I bet we get right back to 6. 6 times 2 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So again, multiplication and division are inverses. Addition and subtraction are inverses. They undo each other. We're going to use those skills over the next few days, but today we're going to start with addition. Here I have a problem that many of you could probably look at and solve in your head. x minus 5 equals 10. Now we've talked and said what minus 5 equals 10? Many of you are going to be able to do these in your head. But I want you to get down using the inverses. And today we're going to use the inverse of addition. Here I have x minus 5 equals 10. So I think, what is the inverse of subtraction? It's addition. So just like with our balance, if I add 5 to one side, I've got to add 5 to the other side. Minus 5 plus 5, those two are cancel each other out, so we're left with x equals 10 plus 5, 15. x equals 15. Now we just solved, we can check. If I plug 15 in for x, 15 minus 5 equals 10. Is that a true statement? It is. We're good to go. Here I have a subtraction problem. x minus 7 equals 12. So I look right away and I say, oh, we're doing subtraction. I need to find what the inverse is. And the inverse is addition. So if we're taking away 7, let's add 7. Plus 7 plus 7. And let's add them up. Well, minus 7 and plus 7, those two cancel each other out. So we're just left with x equals, and we have 12 plus 7 is 19. Now I think the answer is x equals 19. The only way to be sure is to plug that 19 in for the x. Let's try it. 19 minus 7 equals 12. Is that a true statement? It is. Check mark. We're good to go. Let's try a couple more. Now for these, I realize a lot of you will be able to do it in your head, at least for the early examples. But as we work in class, we're going to get to harder examples that you won't be able to do in your head, which is why I say it's important to learn the inverses and how to use them. Now. Here's an example with decimals. Now, some of you will probably look at it and try to figure out in your head, but that's okay to get a good ballpark idea, but we need an exact idea. 4 and 6 tenths equals e minus 3 and 2 tenths. I see subtraction, so I want to do my inverse. Inverse is addition, and we're going to add 3 and 2 tenths. If we do it to this side, we've got to do it to this side. Plus 3 and 2 tenths. 
these two will cancel each other out, leaving E by itself, E and the equals. Now let's add. 6 plus 2 is 8. Bring down the dot. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 and 8 tenths equals E. Now again, we could flip-flop them. E equals 7 and 8 tenths, but it means the same thing. Again, we think it's right. The only way to be sure is to double check by checking our answer. So let's plug 7 and 8 tenths in for E. 4 decimal point 6 equals 7 and 8 tenths minus 3 and 2 tenths. Can't do this in my head, so I'm going to do some work right down here. 7 and 8 tenths minus 3 and 2 tenths. 8 minus 2 is 6, bring down the dot. 7 minus 3 is 4, and would you look at that, 4 and 6 tenths. We're good to go. Now we can also use these with word problems, and I have a sample right down here. Okay, here it is. Pete is 15 years old. Key math term. This is 6 years younger than his sister Victoria. Okay. Write and solve a subtraction equation to find Victoria's age. Okay. So we know that Pete is 15 years old. That's good. We know Pete's 15. This is six years younger than his sister Victoria. We know that it's six years younger. The only problem is do we know Victoria's age? We don't, so that's going to be our variable. I'll get really creative with this variable. It's Victoria, so I'll use V as my variable. And I'll put it right over there. So 15 equals V, and it's six years younger, so we're minus, minus six. Now, this V is Victoria's age, and that's what we're going to try to figure out. I see minus 6 with a V. My goal is to get the V by itself. So I'm going to do the inverse, add 6. Minus 6 plus 6, they cancel each other out. We're left with V equals. If we added 6 here, we've got to add 6 here. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 equals V. I think it's correct, but let's double check. I'm going to plug 21 in for the V, and I'm going to say 15 equals 21 minus 6. Is 21 minus 6 15? It is. We are good to go. I gave you a few to try on your own. Try them. Any questions, jot them down, bring them to class, and we'll work on it. Good luck.